So this is a quick little video giving you some tips on how to find and fix broken lines in um, your DXF files. So broken lines are a real big pain in the butt and they can be really sneaky, particularly on a file like this where essentially what we've done is done a grid of these little hexes and then come in here and drawn a oval over top of it and essentially trimmed out the parts we didn't want. Same with the letters. As you can see, this white line is indicating that I have broken lines here. Okay. Um, so now there are multiple broken lines in this little uh, part. Um, and I want to show you probably the easiest way to find them. And, you know, every CAD has a different way to find them, depending on how you, you've done it. But the easiest way to find your um, uh, broken lines is in Sheet Cam. If you bring it in, and if you go up under View, okay, we're going to leave the show input paths on. Um, we want to make sure the show segment ends is off. Basically, if you click this, you're just going to get a, a point where all the segments are. This is nice to know. I mean, this is a good drawing. Obviously, we've done in the CAD, nice smooth uh, curves. doesn't have a thousand and one points along this curve. You know, if I did see that, that might pose a problem to my cut. But turn that off and what you want to turn on is your show path ends now these all should be closed objects and so there should be no ends to them well we know that's for the fact that that's not the truth because these are showing up white and when she cam displays a white line it's saying it's an open line so she cam will not cut this line correctly you may cut it in a couple different segments and it will not cut using an inside or outside offset it's going to cut using a basically <clears throat> a on the line offset so you're going to get pierced effects and your cuts not going to be the right size it's going to be bigger than it should be so if you go over here you go click show path ends now i got a couple dots all these little dots are showing me problems. For example, if I zoom in here, whoop, lo and behold, I got an extra line in here. Okay. Um, let's go look over here. Looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good. Oh, there we go. Got a little line in there. Okay, I want to cut that out because most likely she cam will try to cut this. Okay, it may or may not, but even though this showed up as a closed object, this can cause a problem. For example, if I generate an operation and I come over to view and I'm going to go, um, let's see show tool paths so I get a green line I zoom on in here well it's saying I'm gonna have two start points I'm getting a start point for this right here 42 and then 41 is gonna be another start point and so machines gonna come over here and make essentially look like it's doing a pierce and you're gonna be like why did I do that well this is the reason it's doing that um, you know, this can be hard to pick up when you generate the operation because that looks like one start point there. You know, so if I come over here, I'll go back to view. And this time I'm going to turn off my start points and I'm going to turn off the show tool paths. Okay. And I'll also turn off show rapids. basically and we're, we're kind of back to where we were and so um, another situation is right here okay I'm going to delete this operation just temporarily and so what we have here it appears like we have an overlapping line okay it looks like I have either 
one of two things have happened here. Either I have just an extra segment, line segment from here to here, or say this line ends here and this line ends here and they overlap each other. One way or the other, sheet cam is not going to cut this shape out correctly because of that. And over here, we have another little line. Sheep cam is basically going to go over and try to pierce this and cut it, which we don't want. Same thing down here. We already looked at that one. Oh, it looks like the last one's going to be here. And this kind of looks like the same thing, overlapping extra line segment. Okay. So once you've found your defects, okay, and I got a couple up here. Zoom in way far. Look at that extra little line segment. Very difficult to see. But not to say that she Kim would not attempt to cut that. Same thing here. So once you've found your breaks in your lines, you can then go back into Solid Edge or whatever CAD you want to use and fix them. So let's just toggle back and forth up here. So I got two up there. So if I zoom in here, I can come use the trim tool. Get rid of that. Uh, it looks like there's something over here. Let's see what we got here. Head back to here. So what do we have here? Oh, we had that extra line right in the corner. There we go, there it is. Select that, cut it out. Got rid of that one. And essentially you're, you're gonna be going through the whole file looking for your defects. And as you can see, it's helpful because it's really difficult to see these things in the actual CAD. the basics of uh, finding finding your your broken lines um, you know this can be a real uh, challenge for folks especially if you say you got the file from a customer and they didn't quite know how to set up the cuts um, you know it's just it, it takes a lot of practice and care and drawing in a CAD to be able to not have broken lines where you where they'll cause problems. You know, for example, if I go back, generate an operation like I did before. I come up here, show tool paths, and I go under view and I'm going to go show start points. You know, <clears throat> Real tricky to see some of these spots. Um, you know, for instance, this one, as you can see, it's not offsetting. It's cutting right on the line. And as you can see, we got one start point here. There's no lead in because it's going to start right on the line. It's basically going to cut this object and then finish the cut here. So it, it, it's not going to cut the way you want it to, basically. You know, same thing down here. What appears to be one start point. If I zoom out, it's actually two start points. So I'm going to get an extra cut here. Um, and that's not going to be what you want. So those are some little tricks and tips on finding your broken lines um, in Sheet Cam and fixing them. Thanks for watching.